presented by Lowe's and the ESPN Events Invitational Tournament. As we get ready to bring you semifinal number one, and it is number four, Kansas taking on Dayton. All right, let's take a peek at our bracket. As Dayton and Kansas square off coming up, it'll be Iona and Belmont, the Gales, an upset win over Alabama last night. As we welcome you courtside, hope you're having a great Thanksgiving weekend. John Chambi and Dick Vitale, great to see you, pal. Well, it's great being with you, Boog. I love being here. It's going to be a great environment. I tell you, Dayton really brings a lot of fans, and so do the Jayhawks. Rock truck Jayhawks. This place should be rocking. No doubt. Great atmosphere. Ochai Abaji for Kansas, a guy that was told he needed to be a little more aggressive offensively. So far this year, he has been. Well, he's been aggressive, Boog, and he's been efficient. He's been the leading scorer in the nation. He scores in a variety of ways. I'm telling you, goes three levels where he can score from deep, mid-range, and go to the basket. I know one thing. If you're picking the five best players right now who perform thus far, not a reputation, on performance, Mr. Abaji would be right there. No question about it. Just gave me a little fist bump. <laughs> came over. He must have heard me out there. <laughs> That's what they do for the Hall of Famers. A little dap <laughs> for you. So Ochai Abaji saying hello. Oh, he's only third now. He was number one yesterday. He must have dropped two notches. He was number one when I did my research yesterday. Dayton with an impressive win over Miami, led by a couple of freshmen in Deron Holmes and a New York City point guard in Malachi Smith. Dayton wins the tip. This is Malachi Smith handling, and we are underway. People that follow Dayton understand one thing. His brother was a terrific player, played for Archie Mellor. They went to the tournament four years in a row. Scucci with Smith was an outstanding guard. Holmes swings it. And Blake the... Trying to show Shot. some patience. Shot clock at five. Weaver fires. Too strong. Rebound Martin. Weaver's a kid that played at Southern Cal. He played in this tournament previously when he played for Southern Cal. They're very young. They're going to get Dayton. Twelve kids are classified as freshmen because of COVID. And when they get the extra year, that's the second most in the country to Arizona as 13. Uh, Tommy Lloyd's got his work cut out for a nice move by Christian Brown, who's coming off a 16-point performance in the win against North Texas. There's Holmes. He's fouled, and they get Brown on that one. Brown had to score down to the other end with a good drive to the basket. Bill Self told me he really likes this team. Watch Brown right here. He's going to go down the lane. Goes strong to the goal. He's a good three-point shooter. Bill Self told me he thinks this team, in relationship to last year, has really terrific potential. He feels that by the middle of the year, he'll get back playing the kind of defense that he wants them to play. He said he wanted to play a lot better as a team defensively, but offensively, we can be very, very efficient. Deron Holmes, the freshman missing the first, as he is the highest ranked recruit that the Dayton program has ever landed, a top 50 recruit. Yeah, and as you said so well, he had a big game against Miami. Abaji was looking for the lob, but that one swatted away by Tumani Kamara. You know, Kamara blocks that shot. He played at Georgia, and he was a real good player down there for Tom Cream. Rebound, score, a veteran player, one of the veteran guys on the team. Abaji looked up and said, don't you know who I am? I'm third leading scorer in the country. You're blocking my shot? Come on now. I'm a PTP. Let's see if they can get David McCormick involved. Bill Self is a little frustrated with McCormick. Just three points and two rebounds against North Texas. Yeah, he said we got to get more in the post. You're right, John. They got to get more in the post from him. And Martin aggressively to the rim. Remy Martin is fouled, and he will go to the line. Talk about an impact player. It came the route of Arizona State. I'm sure Bob Hurley wasn't happy to see him leave. Part of that transfer portal, which is, of course, chaos. They really strong to the goal. He's got great scoring ability. He's been battling a little bit of a back problem. How about this? In the Power Five conferences, all but four teams use the transfer portal this offseason. So, I mean, everybody is using it. The only teams, Purdue, Villanova, Stanford, UConn, those are the only teams that didn't for this year. Well, maybe people should follow Purdue because I'll tell you right They're now, good. they are really good. Terrific. You had them, right? I did, yeah. Yeah, I watched it. Did a great job in that call up there. Beat Carolina, 
the Villanova. Yep. I mean, really, Matt Painter's got a terrific team. That club is going to really be tough to beat in the Big Ten. And they are big. They got size. They got good guard play. Edie Williams inside. A lot of patience to try to show. Very young team. I mean, they, they got talent, Dane. That's the one good thing. They have some good young talent. Kamara gets the miss and puts oh. it up, and it's off the rim. Loose ball, Abaji on the floor. Good hustle right there by the club. Come on, Rip, blow the whistle. Blow the whistle before he gets out of control. And possession arrow, and it'll go the other way. So Kansas basketball, they lead early 3-1. Our first semifinal, John Shambi, Dick Vitale. And there he is, the Hall of Famer, Bill Self. He's got a lifetime contract. They love him in Jayhawk land. He's done a little winning in his career. Just a little. <laughs> a little winning in his career. Sixth among actives. Harris breaks the pressure. Abaji. Inside. Wow. Oh, off the glass and in. Uchai Abaji. That was an easy deuce. Good pressure from Kansas. Oh. Blake, they not able to save it, almost a steal, and then goes over and says hi to Chris Tyson, the SID for Kansas. Watch, watch it, it's between the legs, they a little reverse, he picks up the loose ball, and there's the reverse layup. Great play by Abaji, hang with that and stay with it, because it looked like it was going to be a turnover city. Abaji pull up. Uchabaji for three. He's a solid goal, man. He's a solid goal, PTP now. Last year he was a PTP, but now we put a little solid goal in front of that name. The way he started the year, Timmy Donner at Gonzaga. By the way, tonight it's Duke. That's going to be fun. 10.30 wow. Eastern, number one, number five, Gonzaga and Duke. Abaji ball fake just inside the three-point line. And McCormick, offensive rebound, and the big guy is fouled. He'll go to the line. They want to That's see what the, Bill Self wants. Yeah, exactly what you said earlier. They're not happy with the way he's been performing on the inside. He's too good, too talented. And Bill's trying to motivate him. And this will help him right here. There he goes, shows a little aggressiveness. Good offensive rebound there. Now he's going to go to the free throw line. You know, you mentioned that game, Duke and certainly Gonzaga. You get the two probably best diaper dandies in the country, and Holgram and certainly Mangaro. And Mangaro came very close to going to Gonzaga. He's from Seattle. Can you imagine if he would have joined that team? They'd have to the NBA. I had a chance to see Gonzaga at home against Texas, and they were impressive oh at Spokane. Well, the game I had the other night, Holgram to me is the most unique seven-footer I have ever seen in my 43 years sitting here for ESPN. Wow. His skill set is off the charts. Obviously, the first argument you get from people, he's got to get stronger. Oh, really? I know he's got to get stronger, but the people he's playing against better get stronger because he's dominating them. Weaver feed inside. Kamara and it rejected. Harris give off. Martin, top of the key. Got it. Timeout, Dayton, a 10-point lead. And the Jayhawks on a good roll to start this one. Wow. Timeout on the court, Ochai Abaji, their leading scorer, third in the country, buries the three. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by the Walt Disney World Resort 50th anniversary. Because when you celebrate with us, nothing could be more magical. And Dollar General, where you save time and money every day. Back to Orlando, Remy Martin with the bucket to break. We had a chance to ask Bill Self at their practice the other day about the Big 12's preseason player of the year. He said he goes back a long way with Remy Martin, back to Martin's high school days at Sierra Canyon. Martin was a high school teammate with Marvin Bagley. Kansas, their staff recruited Bagley really hard, self telling us that Kansas was actually Remy Martin's dream school, a school he really wanted to go to. 
Self said he didn't think it was a good fit, was a little bit undersized. Of course, Martin ends up at Arizona State. That Arizona State team went on the road to Fog Allen, won Martin's freshman year, put up 95 in Fog Allen. Of course, coach and player finally united. Dick, I'm curious, what do you think of the Remy Martin fit in a Kansas uniform? Well, I think he fits anywhere with his talent and ability, Chris. He's such a scorer. He's more a scorer than he's a true point guard. They're playing him at the point slot, but he's going to help anybody. Tremendous talent on the collegiate level. I feel bad in a way for Arizona State losing a kid who they have for a couple of years, but that's the way of life now with the transfer portal. I mean, that's the way on. Maybe when you're at West Point, who knows? You play a point guard for the cadets up there. Maybe you would have transferred to the Naval Academy. <laughs> I mean, anything goes now. This is Weaver at the line. They got McCormick with his first. Elijah Weaver, 14 points on the second half in the win against Miami, including four three-pointers. He's a veteran player, played at Southern Cal, as I said earlier. Transferred to Dayton. Dayton's got such a terrific fan base. You ready for this? They're sold out every game this year. You cannot walk up there and get a ticket. Now, boom, pop, you can get one, but the average fan ain't getting a ticket up there. I don't know if I can. I don't, think you, I don't think I can get one. Brown inside lays it in left hand. Christian Brown with four. And we'll give me a ticket because I went up and I danced after we beat that Dayton Flyer team with Mr. Paxson and Johnny Davis and Irv Giddings. Uh, Don Donner was some great coach. I hope he's watching right. Love you, Don. You did a great job in that Dayton sideline. Weaver lost the handle. Loose ball. Holmes. And then a kick out. Kamara. Rich Score the basket. Score it. Scoring goal. Goal 10, McCormick. That's our first bucket in five minutes. At least he was aggressive. So you see a full court pressure. This will look concerned to Bill. He said, you know, we haven't seen a whole lot of pressure this year, except in practice among us. And he said, they come after you. They did a great job against Miami yesterday with their press team. Yeah, they were looking for a way to just get some offense. McCormick fade away in and out. Not to shoot that little fade away with his size advantage. He's got to turn and go to the goal. He's got to go to the goal. Go to the rack. Kamara lost the handle. Back out Malachi Smith, their prize freshman. 14.7 assists, no turnovers against Miami. Yeah, that's a pretty good job as a point guard. Very efficient. Now it's Harris, a turnover for Dayton Martin from way deep. Loose ball and Brown tracks it down. Now a three. I mean, there's no question the talent level is on the side of Kansas. These kids are playing hard, though, when you look at the young kids right here from Dayton. Pretty nice move by Elijah Weaver there for the deuce. Yeah, he went through a strong hand, which is the left hand, and taking that ball to the goal. Oh, Dayton Flyer fans, I love it. I love the effort they're seeing. Look at this pressure from the defense. Yeah, kids are playing their hearts out. La Brown oh, taps it in. La Brown with a little tip, a little touch, little finger touch. When you try to tap that ball in, you use those fingers. You don't use the palm of the hand. I've seen you shoot those free throws. <laughs> I've seen you. Those are days ago, man. 82, I'm not shooting any jumpers. Holmes inside. They get the block. And a foul on Dewan Harris Jr. Gonna take a look right here at Brown. Every he is to see good fingertips just touch. It's a nice soft touch when you get on those fingertips. Almost just able to guide it in. I tell you one thing, you look at that Big 12 right now, everybody's got Kansas, you know, right now preseason, they're double four in the country at this moment. You better watch out for Baylor. Wow. Baylor's for real. I watch him today. It's a Michigan State team. And I'll tell you, Scott Drew, stock going up and up. Not like my stocks today. I don't know about yours. The stock market went downtown, over a 1,000 points down. I lost a lot of cash today, Boog. Help me out. Help me out. I got to do a lot more games. And you guys thought you were tuned in to CNBC, right? Oh, yeah. geez. Yeah. 
I know that Baylor team is really tough. And you look at certainly the Big 12 would be tough again. Texas is going to get better and better because they're too talented. Yeah. I know you should have been blown out by Gonzaga. But Gonzaga's going to blow a lot of people out. <laughs> Jalen Coleman lands into the game. The Iowa State transfer for Kansas. Pettiford gives off, and Jalen Wilson is checked in also. Jalen Wilson will be a special player for them as the year progresses. A veteran player came back and suspended for three games with a DUI situation. Got to make good decisions, young people out there. Got to make good decisions. You have a little drink or two, get a friend to drive. Don't get behind that wheel. Shot clock winding down. Harris, Wilson, shot clock expiring. Lightfoot trying to tip it out. Mustafa Amsil is checked in for Dayton. He bears watching. Weaver inside. And off of Kansas, it'll stay with Dayton. Good rotation on the weak side defensively by Kansas to take away and deflect that ball. Anthony Grant coaching down there at Dayton. He's got a real good resume. Anthony worked on the Billy Donovan for years. Was part of those teams winning national titles. It's also cool he gets a chance to coach at his alma mater, so it's uh, yeah. you know super personal for him. And two years ago, these clubs played two years ago it was unbelievable. Out with Maui, what a match! And Bill Self was telling me today, what a matchup that was with Toppin and company with the Flyers. They got beat in an overtime, unbelievable game, and it was only one of two losses they had all year. They lost overtime also to Colorado, and that was it. And that team would have been really a tough out for people in the NCAA tournament if they had the tournament. Sissoko left hand, that'll go. Mulai Sissoko with the bucket. Nice play by Sissoko on the interior. And here's some of that pressure now they from come the after Flyers. You. They're coming after you. They're going to get better and better and be much more of a factor in the Atlanta 10 than your early record shows. Pettiford turns the corner at the free throw line. They move the ball and now Coleman lands. Shot clock under 10. Lightfoot buries a jumper. Nice bench there, deep team. And that was the area of Lightfoot, an experienced player. Bill Self told me before the game, I like the depth of this club. I got a lot of versatility. Step back, Colby Brea buries it. Colby Brea nails it down. And he goes back like, so what, no big deal. I can do that. <laughs> a little double team. Trap in the basketball. Dayton has some length. I mean, you're talking about a bunch of guys 6'6 six, six and above that are active. Lightfoot off the mark. And here I'm, comes Malachi Smith. I'm impressed with their effort. I am impressed with their effort on the court, especially on a defensive end. It's hard to believe for me when I look at some of their losses early. I mean, they got beat by teams that just really aren't what you call marquee teams. Yeah, lost to UMass Lowell, Lipscomb, Austin P. Yeah, UMass Lowell. They didn't lose to UMass. Jayhawks off to a 17-11 lead. Remy Martin straight on. Knocks it down. Here at the Fieldhouse, Kansas by six. Courtside, John Chumby and Dick Vitale. And Jayhawks with the lead. Dickie B, I know with your battle and how personal it's been for you over the years, your fight against cancer. Well, we got that beautiful white car available. There's a bunch of young kids who either were at my gal or their families were who lost their lives to cancer. And anything I'll do is certainly going to be to raise money for cancer. It's my new book. Every dollar from the book, every dollar in terms that I raise goes for kids battling cancer through the V Foundation. Go to DickVitale.com. That's all you got to do is go to DickVitale.com. Raffle tickets on the car. You can get there. You can get my book autograph there. And I'll tell you this with the car, John. We had a red one that we raffled off Tuesday night. Sold it out. So I want the Dayton fans and I want the Kansas fans to sell this white one out. All right. Every dollar. We've only got 1,500 chances. There are $100 a chance. Just go to DickVitale.com. Can I win the car? Uh... Yeah, you can win it. Right. They'll yeah. probably say no because you know me. <laughs> but you want to give 100 bucks, we'll I, take the I hundred. absolutely will. We'll yeah. give the $100. Uh, yeah. hey, I'm going so to give myself a couple of chances. You sort of picture those beautiful young kids. Yeah. Lost their lives so early. My heart breaks for them. And what their parents have gone through. 
Rea gives off on the baseline. It's Greer, and he turns it over. Wilson on the move. Fourth turnover for the Flyers. Wilson hanging. Contact, no foul. McCormick tracks it down. Martin, baseline jumper, got it. That's what he can do, my friend. What Chris talked about, he has ability to score. He really has got scorer's ability. Rated by many as one of the most impact transfers. Yeah, Marcus Carr at Texas, another. Brea, jumper, got it. And what is this guy? Brea, look at the way he turns around his back. He makes like Kobe Bryant when he goes back. That's when Kobe shot it, he knew he was going to go down. I like his first two. So much confidence. Obaji trying to dodge Sissoko and not charge and ended up picking up the contact. That's pretty good body control from Ochai Obaji is he had to get around the big guy. He's going to have one heck of a year as you've seen him start already. Watch the way this guy releases the ball. Look at that. That is from unbelievable downtown. He haven't shot that from uh, my house in Sarasota. When you talk about guys with hype, one of the greatest New York City high school recruits ever, Kobe Brea is the godson of Felipe Lopez. Oh, is he? Oh, wow. Lopez was a name. Unreal coming out, going to St. John's. I got Howie Schwab. There's a lot of research in me. He's going to be at Cloud High because we mentioned St. John's. Yeah. So here's Greer handling. Uh, and Brown to take away. Can't turn it over. Christian Brown the throw down. He's got a nice little first half so far, Mr. Brown. He's got eight and coming off a 16-point effort in a win against North Texas. North Texas, good little basketball team. Last year they were in the NCAA tournament and they beat Purdue. First win they ever had in NCAA action. Um, Seal gets the foul. I was impressed with the way Grant McCaslin handled his team. Hey, you talked about Scott Drew. You want to talk about some kindness. Grant McCaslin was on the bench with Scott Drew for like five years. Scott Drew gave him a championship ring. Wow. He's a classy guy, Scott. Scott is going to be one of our honored guests at my gala this year. We're going to honor, uh, at that time, Keyshawn Johnson, outstanding former football player with the Bucks. NFL, works on ESPN Radio. He's going to be honored. And it's long also. Look at the class right here, break down. 12 freshmen, unbelievable. That's COVID freshmen, meaning that they got the extra year granted to them. I mean, that's a, that's a young basketball team. This but, kid at the line is talented, a redshirt freshman himself. Sorry. Yeah. And we're also going to be honoring Scott Drew, who's one of the honorees, national championship coach. And they love tennis where we live down there in Sarasota. It's at the Ritz Carlton, and we got the legend, the icon in tennis, Chris Everett. That's awesome. And then we're going to give a special award out to someone you know, John Saunders Award is going to go to Rod Gilmore for his courageous battle against cancer, one of our colleagues. Yep. I mean, May 6th. Here's Anthony Grant. And of course, head coach at Dayton, fifth year at Dayton, six years in Alabama, spent three at VCU and played at Dayton, as mentioned. Davis in Alabama, and certainly he had some good moments there down in Alabama. Tell you one thing, they got a good basketball team. I only won that game this thing, but Alabama is a very good team. Wilson gathers it in, tried to lay it in. He's fouled, and he'll go to the line. 9.29 to go here, first half. John Chomby and Dick Vitale, and Kansas leads by eight. By the way, coming up tonight, we get the Continental Tire Challenge. It features number five, Duke, number one, Gonzaga T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific on ESPN and the app. One app, one tap. What's your take on that matchup? Well, my take is this. You know, in two marquee matchups that Gonzaga's had, they have risen to the occasion and have been brilliant. Texas, the game you did and the game I did, certainly they were unbelievable against UCLA. Can they go now three for three? Duke presents some challenges. I think a key player tonight in that game is going to be the big guy for Duke, Mark Williams, on the inside. He's going to have to give him a plus performance. Because I think Mangaro, if you think about Keels, those guys are going to be ready. And Wendell Moore has really, really improved as a player. It's going to be a battle. 
Got Dan Schumann, Jay Billis. I'm sure they're excited as heck about it. And I know I'll be watching. Schulman and Billis, I've heard of those guys. And then I'm mad. <laughs> a bodgy ball fake now. A little, showing a little zone here. Showing a little zone defense right now. Good rotation. So they change it up defensively. McCormick. Inside, outside. Got to right? get something. Shot clock winding down, and it's a shot clock violation. I tell you what, the defensive adjustment there really bothered Kansas. And Bill wasn't happy with the way they attacked that zone. That's the Jayhawks' first turnover. Dayton, meanwhile, has turned it over six times. Malachi Smith back in the game for the Flyers. Weaver hangs, and he gets fouled. Elijah Weaver will go to the line. Well, oh, good attacking drive right there by Weaver. Boy, you know, I felt so bad for the Dayton fans, and most of all their players, two years ago because of COVID, that they couldn't compete in the NCAA tournament. That was a special, special team. Well, they were on the verge of getting a one seed, which yeah, absolutely. is pretty, you know, these days is, uh, you know, the one seed is non-Gonzaga. It's usually the the realm of, of Power Five conferences. No, it was, they were just terrific all year long. Yeah, 29 and two, most wins in history. You mentioned Obi Toppin and Anthony Grant won coach of the year. The two losses to Kansas and to Colorado. Both in overtime, <laughs> both in overtime. That's how close they were to perfection. And they really were legit too. There is no question about it. That Kansas-Dayton game in Maui was one of the better games of, of the, the year. year. Absolutely. Twenty-four seventeen, Jayhawks. Oh, very active in that defensive front. The pressure they apply. Let it drop out of that pressure. Go back to man to man. Got it back in the zone. Rotating defensively. They're not intimidated by the Kansas in number four in the nation. You can see that. They're not intimidated at all. Shot clock winding down. A Baji oh, off the glass oh, and in. Oh, you know you're having a great year. You know you're having a great year. You bank that baby goes down. Oh, man. Wow. The lead is 10. Smith puts it on the floor, feed inside Kamara, and that'll go. It felt like the other day when Dayton was really successful offensively, the ball was in Malachi Smith's hands a lot. Yeah, he did a great job. Yeah, that game got the ball around. They made 11 threes in that game as well. Abaji in transition. This is Malachi Smith. He's quick. Freshman He's quick. speeding up New York ahead. City, and lays it in. He's in the city. He's in the city. He's an to play. I'm a New York City kid, man. I play on the pavement out there all the time. I'm not afraid of the Kansas Jayhawks. Come on. I don't care the number four in the nation. I can play. Welcome back to Orlando. Malachi Smith with the bucket going to break. Malachi, of course, the brother of Scoochie Smith, a terrific player in his time at Dayton. But it was not a given that Malachi would come to Dayton, and Anthony Grant was up front about that. Said, look, I didn't coach your brother. I'm not recruiting you because you're Scoochie Smith's brother. We're recruiting you to come be our point guard for four years. Malachi said he texts his brother every day. His brother texted him last night after their win. He said, you better get after Kansas. Tomorrow's your day. Well, they're within six. Malachi Smith so far in this one with a couple of points and three assists from St. Really, Raymond's in New York City. They've had some great players there over the years. I like the way they really come after you pressure-wise. Out here to match it up, a little defensive zone. I'm going to tell you what, this is a better team than those first three games in the game. Yeah. Zach Clements has checked in, and he tracks down the rebound, the freshman. Yep. Jalen Coleman lands, can't hit the rebound. Colby Brea and Dayton looking to chip away at a six-point deficit. Yeah, I think Bill would like to see more, a little more patience on offense. Shot those threes off real quick. See, too many turnovers. Three on one, you got to make the pass. Good play. Harris high off the glass. Seven turnovers for Dayton. Yep. 
turnovers that really led to baskets, and those are really tough, tough turnovers right there. But great job by execution, transition, three on one, a little wider than 15 feet as they go through up the court, the two wing players. Brea can't hit that time. Kansas has 11 points off oh, Dayton's turnovers. Abaji catch and shoot. And Brown has had a good first half, tracks down the board. Clements, three. Oh, off man. the glass and in, he smiles. And Bill Self shakes his head. The bank is open, as Timmy B used to say when he worked with him. The bank is open, man, on Friday. <laughs> Bank is never open the Friday after Thanksgiving. Yeah, right. Today it's open. <laughs> they hit two there today. Next five minutes really big to Dayton. If they go on a spurt, they can break this open, Dayton. Oh, wow. Brea, and he wanted the foul. And he said something to Doug Sermons. Fall away, little on the baseline. Tough shot by Brea. Abaji aggressively to the hole. He has a dozen. Strong drive by Abaji with that left hand. He wants to get back being number one in the nation's score. He was last night. Now he's number three. Feet inside, and they get Clements on the foul, his first. You know, Anthony told me before the game, he said, you know, Dick, a game like this, we're playing a real high-caliber basketball team in the program. We got a lot of young kids, but we really think it's a great opportunity for our young kids to get a feel, get a feel what really nationally rated basketball is about. And he thinks it's all going to, no matter win or lose, it's going to help them in terms of long term. It's multiple things, right? It's playing against teams at a high level, and then it's also the three games in four days because that's pretty unique. Yep. The, the next time that they will do something like this will be their conference tournament. Right, exactly. Atlantic 10, now you look at St. Bonaventure's been outstanding. Coach Schmidt has done one great job, and we got a big following for them back there in East Mike for Carroll, writes for the Post, New York. He's a Bonnie grad, Chris LaPlacker, a fine vice president of ESPN. He loves his Bonnies. Adrian Woja, Woj is absolutely a big Bonnies guy as well. He's certainly an expert what's going on in the NBA. Brown rejected by Holmes, right side of Baji. Lightfoot tips it, out of bounds. It'll be Dayton basketball. I love kids that play hard. I, I don't like the scoreboard. I look at the effort. I mean, sometimes, you know, the scoreboard's dictated by sometimes size, quickness, ability, talent. But there's no excuse for not playing hard. If you continue to play hard, a lot of times good things are going to happen in any sport or in anything in life. Always do your best. Blake D. Lightfoot pulls down the rebound. Here comes Martin. Up oh, ahead, nice Apache. And Abaji running the floor gets fouled by Amsil. He'll go to the line. Really good job by Martin with the pitch up ahead. That was a terrific pass. You beat me to the punch on that. Watch this pass. I mean, he put that baby on the money. Good defense by making him go to the free throw line. Abaji a dozen points, two for two from the line. Now, last year they lost outstanding guard in terms of Garrett. Garrett now playing with, wasn't drafted, but he went and impressed the people at Miami. Pat Riley and company, he's there. Gonna hear. Had pretty good honors. Remy Martin, preseason player of the year in the Big 12. I think Abaji probably has as good a chance as anybody in the league to win it. I think he has an excellent chance. He continues like this. I mean, even though he missed two right there, he bricked two free throws. That's not going to sit well with his coach. Double up on a post. He fouled Light. him, there, no doubt about it. Yeah, Lightfoot came and helped on the double and picks up his second foul. Ninth team foul on Kansas, and Tumani Kamara will go to the line. One thing about Bill, he runs that bench. He uses people off that bench. He's not afraid. Hey, we give you a scholarship. We expect you to be ready to play. I think some coaches, un unbelievable out there. They recruit kids, give kids scholarships, and they don't play. They don't play. I mean, I think if you want to have a great situation in practice, the more you use the bench, 
the better the practice environment is going to be. So even if it's for a minute or two, and especially when you win by 30 and 40 points and kids don't get in a game, I think that is really sad in a way. I really do. I, I, I don't buy that. I don't buy it because to me, those kids bust their back every day in practice, and they should at least get on the floor for a couple of minutes. Kamara and the Flyers down by eight. And gets another. The lead is down to seven for Kansas. And pressure from Blakely. They keep battling. They keep battling. Looks like Kansas is getting ready to knock him out. And the effort, they just keep that. Oh, wow, wow. Remy Martin, show why he was such a coveted transfer. Wanted. I mean, the latest thing now is he got free agency in college basketball. Out of bounds, and it'll remain Dayton basketball. So the Flyers will have it when we come back or under four timeout. And our first semifinal, Kansas leading it by 10. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. Disney's Wide World of Sports Complex, the Field House. Spook Shambi, I'm going to get you one of those hats. That's a good uh, yeah. hat right there. I'm going to get one of those hats. Yeah. I, I love coming here to the Disney World area. It's just unbelievable. It makes me really feel like 12 years old sure. being around there. I know I have 12. This is great medicine for me. I tell you, I told my doctor the other day, I said, the best medicine you gave me was allowing me to go do that game Tuesday. This Tuesday, I'll be over in uh, Chapel Hill. Two teams that really try to find themselves, Carolina and Michigan. Okay. Both defensively got to go. Oh, he got hit. Oh, I could see that with one eye. <laughs> they missed that call. I would have won bananas. Martin charged with that. His second as he landed on the back of Colby Breas. A little fake. Nothing like a little head fake. Nothing like a little fake. I think he left something on the floor. I wonder what he left on the floor. Wow. Remy, little head fake. Stay down. Don't go with that fake. Two shots for Brea as they are in the double bonus territory. He keeps putting his shoulder. Looks like his shoulder's bothering him a little bit. He keeps grabbing it. He made two long range threes. Now in the free throw line, he's struggling. Yeah, a bit. I think Martin landed on him. I mean, it was kind of like, let me give you a, a piggyback type of foul in that spot. So this is the first. Misses the wow. second. I think that shoulder really bothered because he didn't look smooth on that release. And he did make it the two threes. It's not been a great free throw shooting first half for either side. No, really struggling. Staying in that zone right now. Very active. Yesifu, pull up and count it. Joseph Yesifu, the transfer from Drake with the bucket and he'll go to the line. You know, Yesmo was one of the best six men in their conference out there, Drake. I think a pitcher with a bunch of Drake players today in a hotel. They got a good team. They lost a tough game. The Belmont was very good. And anybody thinking that Iona, because beating Alabama, will be in the final against the winner of this game, Iona's going to have to come to play because Belmont is pretty good. No doubt. The big guy is real good. He had 31 yesterday. Yesifu knocks it down. Kansas. Six for 11 from the line. Dayton's just nine for 16. So, not a team shooting the lights out from the stripe. Yeah, and when you're a club like Dayton trying to get in the game, you got to do everything perfect, the little things. Yeah. Missing free throws is going to really hurt you. Yeah. And we said right now, the next couple minutes, I mean, it could be either a blowout or get to a respectability. Smith not able to finish. Point blank. There's a tip in, and it's Deron Holmes. I think Holmes right there, the freshman. Good third effort by Dayton. They keep staying with it, battling, battling. So I don't think their effort's going to stop. I mean, the energy they're playing with, playing really hard, a little outman personnel-wise, out of experience with the Dayton club versus certainly the Kansas actually has much more experience than the young Dayton team. Yes, Apu from way downtown, Kamara. 
Dayton down 11. Brea launches. And wow. that one off the mark by a lot. Brown wow. the rebound. Too quick? Yeah, I thought it was too quick, but again, it's tough to criticize him when he made two like that. Oh, nice move on the baseline. Joseph Yesifu with five. You know, Yesifu was a kid. He was a good, solid player, outstanding player, a good Drake team last year. You come in a game like this, you want to make the most of your minutes to get more minutes. Sure. That's why he shot the ball a little bit earlier. You come in, you know, I got to do well. I got to do well if I want to get back that PT playing time. Under the two-minute mark, Smith probing. Had the ball knocked away. Harris. Give it up. Lob. Oh, Brown, yeah. Brown, look at him. Oh, he gave it up. What a great timing on that. Great timing. They love it. The Mets loves it. Remy loves it. Well, I believe they got Brown with a technical. They did. Yeah, they got him with a team. There's a flip up on top. I'm watching this. Lays it up for him. Look at Mr. Brown. Oh, he's hanging on the rim, there's no doubt about the T there. He's got the T. Tell you what, Dick, I don't, I don't know. He had Kamara basically right underneath of him. It's the down free throw. Yeah. It's the jump. So they're now 9 for 17 from yeah. the line. Yeah, you're down 15. You're an underdog, a big underdog. you got to be able to convert those. So that's what it's for right there. So I take it back. Yeah, today you that's what he teed him. Yeah, that's what he yeah. teed him for. That's yeah. totally understandable. So they give him a tech, and that's fine. All the winners who said plays the winner of the Belmont Iona. I'll tell you one thing. People better beat Iona now because the third year. I'm telling you right now, Rick Pitino in that third year. Watch out. They're going to be one of the mid-major powers. Holmes missed, put it in, and the foul. The freshman goes to the line. Good effort right there by the diaper dandy. They got some really good diaper dandies. I hope that people are just patient, patient. I know down in Dayton they used to have it such a winning basketball over the years. It's such a tremendous tradition there. It's less Kansas. Kansas tradition's off the charts. You don't have to document that. I mean, this kid, it just jumps out at you. You get it. I mean, they did a great job feeding him the other day when he had 15. Well, he beat Miami by 16. Shot 27 from 46 in that game. He had 11 threes. Holmes had 15 points. He had a total of seven points in the previous two games. He had 15. So he shows some potential. And I like the way they defend. Because this team is not easy to defend. Kansas has got a lot of weapons. Oh, what great played here. Nice little bounce pass for the drive on the baseline. Obaji draws contact on the baseline. And they get Elijah Weaver with his second. So Obaji to the line. 106 to go here in the first half at semifinal number one or second semifinal. Coming up tonight, 6.30 Eastern at ESPNU. It'll be Belmont and Iona. I plan on coming back for that game to watch it. I'm going to plan on coming back. I'm going to tell my wife now. So I'm putting dinner off. I'm going to go watch some mass. We want to see the Iona team and Belmont team. <laughs> I hope she buys into it. So this is the first time that she is being made aware that she's coming back for Belmont. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Before I met my wife, this is a true story. We're married for 50 years. She had never seen a sporting event. Wow. Never seen a sporting event. Since then, she's seen quite a few. Yeah, a few. Uh -huh. And she's going to add Belmont and Iona to her list yeah. tonight. Shot clock winding down. Kamara hanging off the glass. Rattles it home. Jumani Kamara. Nice shot. Right. Yeah, he's a good player. Came out of Georgia. Tom Green lost some key players. Anthony Grant recruited him out of high school. He ended up at, at Georgia. Been a really good atmosphere. Both the Kansas fans and the Dayton fans in the first half. I appreciate really. 
I realize how good Kansas is. And I appreciate the effort by the kids from Dayton. Just a battle of battle. Yes, if we off the mark, rebound tracked down by Brea, and now it's Malachi Smith. Come on, get to the single digits. I want to get, Coach, get to the single digits. Smith shake and bake, hoist, and can't hit. Bill Self's team, biggest lead was 15. It's 10 right now. So at the half in our semifinal, and it's a 10-point game. Let's send it over to Chris Patola with Bill Self. Coach, you got off to a hot start, finished with a, a little out of control. We played pretty fast. They played pretty fast. And they're, they're competing so hard and uh, and playing very well. Their defense is good, and, and uh, we just didn't play very smart defensively. We fouled way too much and gave them too many free points. You said the other day your defense is a work in progress. Any adjustments at halftime? Well, maybe play with our head and our feet, not our hands, you know. But if, if we could just keep the ball in front of us and not reach so much, I think we could be okay. All right, thanks, Coach. All right. John? Guys, thanks so much. Kansas and Bill Self with a 10-point lead at the half. We send it back to the studio. Kevin Connor, Sean Farner. Gentlemen. The Love Event, now through January 3rd. Week presented by Lowe's and the ESPN Events Invitational. We get ready for second half action at semifinal number one, and it's number four, Kansas, leading Dayton by 10. And we welcome you courtside, John Chambi and the great Dick Vitale. First half, Dayton wouldn't go away, and ultimately it was Ochai Abaji that had a, a really nice first half for Kansas. Well, Abaji certainly the star of stars those four early in the year for Kansas. But on the side, when you look at here's Abaji, they hurt themselves missing free throws. But take a look at Abaji. Shows his range as a shooter, nothing but nylon. And he goes to the other corner. And he bent right there, he knocks one down. And a great drive to the basket. Showing his ability to score in a variety of ways. He's got more moves to score than Baskin Robbins has flavors. Our game track brought to you by Dollar General and Kansas 52 from the floor. Really the, the big story, the fact that Dayton turned it over eight times, Kansas turned it into 13 points, and Kansas only one turnover. So we'll see how that plays out if the Flyers can protect the basketball a little bit better. Abaji 13 first half points, and Dayton has it to start the second. Well, you know, two factors right there. Number one, you talk about the turnover situation certainly favors Kansas big time, but also the free throw line, not making their free throws, yep. Dayton. And yet they're only down 10. Only down 10 because the effort has been supreme by them in trying to challenge this outstanding Kansas team. Yeah, Bill Self said it to Chris Patola. He really complimented Anthony Grant's team for how hard they've competed, and we've seen it. I've seen it here. We've been talking about it through the entire first half. Really very impressive. The work ethic, the drive, the desire they have. Kamara, size advantage, spins inside, puts it up and in. That's a really nice move. That was a big time move. That's a move you see at the next level. That's the move you see all the Giants do, the superstars. Greatest athletes of all in any sport are playing in the NBA. You talk about agility, mobility, not fragile, no fragility. Well, it's one of the things with Dayton. You, you know, you look at these guys. They got some, some length with their group. As Kamara comes in, swats it out of bounds. But, I mean, Tamani Kamara goes 6'8", 220. Got good size. Look at this agility. Great spin move right there. Very mobile. And he played in the SEC. He played in real big-time competition. So he's not intimidated by anyone. Harris, slob, McCormick able to put it in. David McCormick. With the deuce, he's got three, and Kansas back on top by ten. See, he's the key whether or not Kansas is a great year or a very good year. For him, he has to start giving post presence to the club because that will add to better spacing for the better shots on the perimeter that he's got to elevate his game because their level of competition is not about just getting in the NCAA tournament. It's about winning the NCAA championship. And there's that fight that we talked about from Dayton as Blakeney stepped in. And ended up ripping it away from Abaji, who ultimately gets charged with the foul. The Kansas fans don't like it. A battle right here. 
They want a jump ball right there. They want a jump ball. A little late on that whistle. Yeah, when the whistle finally blew, though, it was Abaji hooking his arm. Yep. But I understand what the Kansas fans wanted prior to that. Clayton, a strong defensive player for Dayton. Very strong on the defensive end. That one tipped away. There's Kansas one the turns. other way. See? Up ahead, Martin puts it in. As you said earlier, John, their turnovers are live turnovers that lead to point production. That's 15 now points they got off turnovers. Blakeney at the basket and puts it in. Blakeney says, hey, Dickie B, talk about me being a good defensive player. I got some offensive ability as well. Did he really say that, John? <laughs> <laughs> Abaji. McCormick with the freshman Holmes on him. I believe Doug Sermons gets Deron Holmes with his first. Well, that's the point of emphasis. They really emphasize that this year. They do it every year. Some referees let it go. Some as Doug follows the book. And it was a good call. Definitely fucked them. He's going to attack. He's going to attack. He wanted to be more aggressive in the corner. He's got talent. Brown inside left hand wouldn't go. Tip from McCormick wouldn't go. And here's Smith. Weaver in transition. A three goes down and the lead is seven. Nice little play right there. Anthony Grant doing a little dance on that sideline. Wow, nice play right there by Smith. Certainly finding Weaver, an experienced player. Oh, got an offensive. Got a foul right here. Smith does a good job defensively. I mean, they're not quit. There's no quit, these kids. Yeah. I still don't understand, watching what I'm watching here today, that this time lost to Massachusetts Lowell, lost to Lipscomb, and lost the third one as well, Austin P. All oh, at home. At home. Yeah, the elbow right there. Now, Dewan Harris elbowed him in the chin, and Smith absorbs the contact. Date with the ball down seven, and the Flyer fans making noise. They have been great. Kamar, a couple of ball fakes, finally able to put it up and in. They showed a lot of poise right there. Poise, patience, let the points, the three Ps. Poise, patience, and some points. Wow, I discovered a new one, the three Ps. It. And that one out of bounds. That's like your next level version of a PTP, right? Yeah. Only it's a PPP. -er. I'm going to tell you something. I'm really impressed, as Bill said to Chris on the sideline when he interviewed him. You know, the effort by these kids has been really special when you look at Dayton. I mean, a lot of people, including me, I had all my stuff here thinking about we, I have to be honest with you, based on the scores we saw earlier this year, I thought we're looking at Blowout City. Right now, a five point game, Abaji at the strike. John Chambi, Dick Vitale, Chris Patola here from the field house. He's got a better job on a free throw. I think that's the third one I remember he's missed. Yeah, he's three of seven from the line. So there's four. I missed one. Now he makes it a baseball. Three out of seven in the whole thing. And they just got a, a lane violation. They waved that one off, they huh? They did. Wow. So the lane violation on McCormick. He comes out of the game. And the lead for Kansas is still five. He's got a good handle, this kid. He's got a real good handle. Nice pass. There it is. And Holmes throws it down. When this team ain't going away. You better call your friends up. We got a game, baby. Game is on. The Dayton Flyers challenging. Challenging the number four team in the nation. A 9-0 Dayton run. They're within three. And the Dayton fans are flying high. Deron Holmes, the freshman, the throwdown. Three-point game. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's and the Subaru Share the Love event, now through January 3rd. Back here at <laughs> Who's the Fieldhouse. Who I'll is tell you that? What, Who the heck's that dancing out there? I can't wait till you really start to come out of your shell. <laughs>
I'll tell you one thing. I'd rather be there dancing and having fun than doing chemotherapy. I can I tell you. you that, my friend. Well, it I'm feels great. so good to be here. I'm grateful you're here. Oh, I'm so happy to be here. Uh, good balance. Good balance. Uh, Holmes, Weaver, Brea. All with eight or more. Anthony Grant's thinking right now, we want no moral victory. We want the W. I don't want no moral victory. Lightfoot trying to find Wilson. Instead, they turn it over. Smith, Weaver to tie it. Oh, wow. Look at the frustration on Bill Self's face. He's going to the bench. He's not a happy camper. He is not a happy camper. And these kids right now, the effort, the effort by the kids in Dayton has been much stronger than the effort we've seen out of Kansas in terms of just playing hard. I think they might have, you know, looked at the stats, look at the sheets. And, come on, now this team lost to Lipscomb, to Lowell. They're going to play us. Come on. As Kansas normally, they play with great intensity, emotion, passion. That's typical of Bill Self's teams. Down wow. three, long jumper, Elijah Weaver. And we're tied at 49. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by Lowe's. Back here at the field house, John Chomby, Dick Vitale, Chris Spatola, you got to listen in to Bill Self. What did he have to say? He lit his team up, guys. He, he was not happy. You know, they had one turnover in the first half. They've already got two this half, and they're leading the layups. You know, he's, he hasn't been happy with their defense to start the season, but he certainly would like to set his defense and force Dayton to have to play against it. Their offense right now not helping their defense, and they're giving up layups. It's a 12-0 Dayton run over the last 225. Kansas, meanwhile, with Brown at the line and a chance for the Jayhawks to retake the lead, and yet Kansas just seven for 15 from the free throw strike. Wow, you take a look at Bill on the sideline, and I've been around him a long time. His face tells me a big story. Total frustration, not happy at all with the kind of effort that he's getting. Look, look at him, that, come on. He's usually much more fired up than that. It's a really outstanding, well-coached basketball team. But it really comes down to playing with some passion and feeling, representing that jersey and all the greatness that that jersey has had over the years. Okay. You're going to come to play no matter who you play. It's always going to get everybody's best shot. Inside throwdown, Holmes with the deuce and Dayton first lead of the game for the Flyers. Cannot believe it. I am stunned. I am shocked. To me, based on looking at the records, so you throw the records out. It's a new day. Play hoops, and they better get their game together because this Dayton team is starting to believe. Harris lost the handle. Dayton the other way. And now it's Smith. Yeah. Outscoring Kansas 16-5 in the oh, second half. Oh, nice oh, they better get a T.O., baby. They need a timeout. They got to get really good. And I know two teams that are cheering like heck right now, cheering like you can't believe for Dayton. You better believe they'll say no, Iona and Belpa. I say, let's go Dayton, baby. Let's go Dayton. We want the Flyers in the final. Wow. One nice more cut. look, yeah. Nice cut without the ball. Ball movement, player movement, all essentials to be an efficient basketball wise. And there's their faithful. They love their team. I respect so much the Dayton fans. They sold out last year, and they had a sub-500 team. They've sold out every game this year, despite losing to Massachusetts Lowell and Austin P. Yes, the home of Fly Wings years ago. What a player he was. How about Deron Holmes coming off a 15-point performance against Miami? He's got 14 today. They've done such a good job, whether it's Malachi Smith or Elijah Weaver, just finding him right. near the basket, and then he uses the springs, the athleticism, and that close-in game 
to score. And he does a good job moving without the ball. You know, I said earlier, prior two games, he had a total of seven points. And it wasn't against teams like he's facing here. They got Malachi Smith with the foul. That's his third. And I think Remy Martin might have just baited him into a little foul or maybe baited the refs into one because Remy Martin was smiling. They switch Smith on Brown down. Dayton by three. Lob. Nice play. McCormick. Nice play right there. I bet they talked a little about that in the timeout. That's Kansas execution. Now you're going to see the real Kansas. Back against the wall, they're going to raise their game like you cannot believe. And you're going to play with that same commitment for the entire game. Can't give people the confidence. You can just see the Kansas kids stick it in a lot better now than they did earlier. But a mismatch down there. They're going to mismatch. Shot clock under 10. He's got great size. Oh, oh, charge. Charge. The little guy won the battle. Mr. Martin won the battle with the big guy. Can't turn over. As they get Tumani Kamara with the offensive foul. As Kamara trying to take advantage of size against Mr. Martin. Give a contact. I like players that play on both sides, and Martin does offense, defense. I think you're going to see a real run by Kansas. I really do. I feel he's by the body language. Wilson turns it over. Back to Dayton. Fourth turnover on the Jayhawks. I was right there, wasn't I? Which is <laughs> unbelievable. I think two of the things that are surprising about this game, like inside of the fact that Dayton is leading, Dayton is leading, and Kansas has only turned it over four times. Exactly. And Kansas led by as many as 15. You figure in that spot that, you know, maybe Dayton would just go away, and they just didn't. No, they didn't quit. Talking about it earlier. Their effort from the moment the game started to now has been supreme. Brea with Braun on him. Now Kamara. And the life turnover score by Kansas has been for, big for them. Lob inside. Kamara puts it in. Smart basketball. That's an M&M or a mismatch size-wise. Rotates inside. Takes advantage of it. And they got these kids from Dayton really believing now they can win. Abaji inside. Just a little too quick to the goal. Ochai Abaji with 15. Well, that's where you have a star player for. When your back's against the wall, the star's got to rise and really carry you. That's what Abaji did there. Red Holmes throws it away. Yeah, those turnovers hurt. Hurt even more if it was a live turnover. But you had a number of those in the first half. 11 turnovers on Dayton. 55-54, Anthony Grant's team giving Kansas all they can handle. Under 13 to go, second half. John Chambi, Dick Vitale, Chris Spatola here from the field house. Wilson, jumper, too strong. Rebound of Baji, gets it to Martin. What a long rebound right there. Nice cut without the ball. Nice yeah. cut without the ball. Brown reverses it for the deuce. Well, good high pass from the high post out of McCormick. And Brown, good movement without the basketball, gets the conversion. Bray wide open. Out of bounds, what do we have? Stays, stays with uh, Dayton. Hey, we talked about two years ago these teams played. It was an overtime game, huh? Maui. Yeah. Two great teams at that time. Toppins team, only one of their two losses they had, those Flyers. Maybe we got another one here. It's going to go like that to the wire. Feed inside. Holmes kicks it out. Blakeney gets bumped. And a foul on Kansas. And a third on David McCormick. So 12-03, that Bears watching. Inside, good find, Brea, the deuce with the left hand. Just too easy. Yeah. Break down defensively, no communication, they get themselves a layup. Oh, I've got to score here. McCormick in close, lost his footing, left hand, wouldn't go. Wow, came up with nothing out of that possession. And then he fouled number four. 
Oh no, he pulled out. Did he call a foul? Did he I call think, a foul? I think he just said out of bounds. Oh, out of bounds. That's a break for Kansas. Our under 12 timeout and Dayton with a one point advantage. Mentioned earlier, Dayton and Kansas, they turned the 2019 Maui Championship game into a non-stop bleacher-shaking highlight reel. Devon Dotson led all scores with 31 for the Jayhawks. Jalen Crutcher, three-pointer that tied the game at the end of regulation. But the Jayhawks' size and strength dominated. Yudoka Zabuke scoring the Jayhawks' first nine in OT. And Kansas escaped 90-84 in overtime that was we mentioned earlier one of the best games of the year that season and one of two losses anthony grant's team 29 and 2 and they were fixing to be a one seed that's what they say yep fixing to be a one seed i wrote a new book on at that time called the lost season with dick Roops weiss it was all about the fact we thought that you looked at Dayton, you looked at florida state those teams have really had a great chance to win that title Turnover by Greer. Too many turnovers. Greer's dad, by the way, is the second all-time leading scorer. Played for the great John Cheney at Temple. Martin gets fouled, couldn't finish, and he'll go to the line, and we'll see if Kansas can get something going from the free throw line. Well, shooting 50% right now in the three, free throw line. Boom, they're eight for 16. Pretty hard to see too. Martin with his first, can't hit. Well, it's rivalry weekend of college football. We'll cap our Saturday triple header on ABC. It's the 116th edition of Bedlam. Number 10, Oklahoma. Number 7, Oklahoma State. It's at 7.30 Eastern on ABC and the ESPN app. One app, one tap. Martin hits one out of two, and we are tied at 57. 11.20 to go here, second half. John Chomby. Dick Vitale, Chris Patola from the Fieldhouse, Disney's Wide World of Sports. Quality shot so important now you get to the last 10 minutes of the game, especially the tie game. Shot selection big, free throw line becomes big. Brea with the shot clock winding down. Brea misses everything. Blakeney tries to save. It'll be a shot clock violation. Kansas basketball. Now really not a good possession right there by Dayton. Not a quality kind of possession that they would like to get the good shot. Yeah, they've struggled when Malachi Smith is not on the floor. And so Anthony Grant subbing him back in. He's got three fouls, right, John? Malachi Smith with three, correct. Is that full court pressure? Bill told me before the game, it's going to be interesting to see how we play against pressure. Haven't faced much of it. Jalen Wilson's a guy that helps them break that pressure. Another ball handler, even though he's got size, he also shoots well. The rebounder. Good thing take Wilson a little time after just coming back. There's Martin with a big shot. I mean, Martin with 13 as he hits that jump shot. Side to side, a good movement. Blakeney hanging, couldn't hit, loose ball. Blakeney has it again. And it's out of bounds, and it'll stay with Dayton, 18 on the shot clock. I am really impressed how hard and how tenacious they are at every possession. No they, doubt. Unbelievable. They really play with such unbelievable feeling. Oh, he got a foul inside, Martin, no question. No question, that service right on the call. So they get Remy Martin with his third. He said, me, I didn't do anything. <laughs> Remy, does a player ever commit a foul? Yeah. Last time Dayton beat a top five team was 1984. Brea, left hand, rolls oh. out. Sissoko can't put it back. Two opportunities and two chances. Brown lost the handle. And now it's Smith the other way. 
Good Malachi. Oh, my goodness, the quickness. Oh, Malachi oh, Smith. Oh, there he is, baby. The New York City young guy. His brother is cheering like crazy. He's usually playing on great Archie Miller teams. Archie can coach. I don't care what happened in Indiana. He can coach. Here we go. Look at this kid. Look at that. Uh -oh, Ray uh -oh. from Smith. Sissoko tracks down a rebound. Just that's out big. hustling, Kansas. Out hustling, out scrapping them. Come on, that's not a Bill Self basketball team. Look at this kid here, right here. Go right to the goal. Quick step. We came over the top of the front foot of Abaji to get in the interior so he can make that shot happen. See Coach Townsend there, fine assistant coach next to Bill. There you go, can tell you standing up now. It's going to be some concern on that sideline. Tied up 59 apiece. Coach Roberts, former St. John's coach. Assistant. Smith, jumper, got him. Wow, how valuable is he been for this team? Played great yesterday against Miami. Abaji the other end. There's he Abaji. ties it right back up. He's doing his part. He's got to get a little help from his friends. Abaji with 17. I think to be an All-American this year, first team All-American can play like this. Dotson, by the way, you mentioned, former star. He was here yesterday playing with the Chicago Bulls now. Smith weaving through traffic. Scoops oh, wow. it up and in. Look at this guy. Wow. wow. Look at the star is born in the Dayton uniform. Mr. Smith, you Dayton fans are going to have a little excitement fellow with this little guy. He's, he's got eight. He is something else. He's exciting to watch. Inside Wilson and Brea fouls of Dayton by two. Ladies and gentlemen, Malachi Smith. They got to get some play out of Wilson. It's going to take him a little time because he's just first action of the year was yesterday. New York City in the house. Yes, sir. Holy cow. Well, you think about New York City cards, I think my head goes immediately. Mark Jackson, yeah. St. John's, one of our great guys with Charlie Van Gundy and Mike Breen on the NBA telecast. I think about Kenny Smith. Yep. I mean, that trio down there is unreal. When you think of Shaquille, Barkley, and Kenny, and Ernie Johnson is the quarterback. You think about certainly, what about, oh, we got Kenny, what about Anderson, Kenny Anderson? Kenny Anderson. Kenny Anderson was unbelievable Georgia Tech fan. All right, Dayton and Kansas, the winner will take on the winner of Belmont and Iona. By the way, Mark Jackson was coached by Rick Pitino, who raved about him as a player. I mean, Kansas, free throw line. 9 for 20 from the free throw That's line. That's not even 50%. I'm going back to my sixth grade teaching class, teaching math. That's not even 50%. Dick Vitale here, come for the basketball, stay for the math. Oh, Elijah wow. Weaver. They believe it, man. They are starting to believe. Call your friends up. This could be upset of the year right here. I mean upset of the year if it would have happened. Bigger than Iona beating Alabama. Iona was 5-0. Iona was a pretty good basketball team. This team came in with no resume at all, basically. Losing three games at home. Coleman Lance can't hit. Sissoko grabbed it. Might have gone over the back. Oh, I can just see the frustration out of Bill on that side. Of Smith had it knocked away. Right. Sissoko yeah, yeah. puts it in. They need that time out, man. They're going to settle down. They're going to get settled down. They're down seven. This is getting out of crucial time. They believe. With every step of the way, you see these kids believing. I'm telling you, it's going to be the shock of the year. Be the shock of the year. Wilson can't hit. Smith pulls it down under seven to go, and the lead is seven. I'm um, seal. It's a 7 0 run. Put it in perspective. They lost at home, as John said. A guy moved. Massachusetts lower. They lost at home to Austin P. They lost at home to Lipscomb. And they're playing the fourth team in the nation on a neutral site. And they're up seven with six minutes to go. It'll be the longest six minutes for him right now. The coach Grant. The longest six minutes for Coach Grant. Watching that clock. Christian Brown ends the drought. He's got 15. He's done a nice job facing the first half. Played really well. Defense has to step up for Kansas. 
And can allow some easy baskets on the interior. And they turn it over. 14th turnover for the Flyers, but they lead it by five. Look at, look, look at, the, look at the frustration. Look at the frustration. Tell me he's not frustrated. That's a Hall of Famer. This guy's ecstatic. He's ecstatic. He's screaming and yelling. I can't believe it. Flyer is certainly flying high as they lead this one by five. An offense being generated by Malachi Smith and everybody getting in the action, Dick Vitale. Huh? Sharing the ball, driving, looking for one another, unselfish. Big three by Weaver right there and a pass for Malachi. Dayton Flyer fans going bananas. A lot of frustration up there with the Kansas scenario. And they expected a lot better performance than this. Four guys in double figures. And how about Malachi Smith? Eight points, six assists. He's only turned it over twice, and the Flyer fans are delighted. I mean, there's no doubt in my mind, once the season starts rolling, Bill and his terrific staff are going to get them to play at the level they're capable of playing. We have not seen it here, but one of the reasons we haven't seen it is because of the effort and the unbelievable energy, enthusiasm, and the excitement that the Dayton Flyers have really taken this game. Two great fan bases that have traveled and turned this into an amazing atmosphere here at the Fieldhouse. Yeah, two of the best fan bases you can find. Certainly yeah. love in Kentucky, obviously. They got the most passionate fans in the world. That's <laughs> just unbelievable. Every possession now getting bigger and bigger for the Jayhawks. Abaji wide open. And that rolls out. Loose ball, tipped out of bounds. Dayton basketball, but I know for Anthony Grant, he's not going to want Ochai Abaji shooting a three that wide open. Wide open, yeah. Now he's wide open. It's a good shot, certainly, by the Jayhawks in that possession. Neither team has shot it great from three. Smith trying to step through. Brown comes up with it. Martin up ahead. Left hand and good. That was the part, problem in the first half. The live ball turnover. And they've converted off those live balls. They're back here. Jayhawks down. And we're up seven. Remember they were down 68-61. It's down to three. And here can't, come the Kansas fans. Can't have those live ball turnovers. Bray has There's it another turnover. Away. There's another one. Can't have that happening. Flip to a Baji. Couldn't finish. Brown. He does. Had to get a timeout. He's got to get a timeout right now. There's a T.O. right there, Mr. Grant. Well, here come the Giants. Oh, they let it tease. They said, we're not worried. Are you serious? Don't believe it. <laughs> 6 0 run within a point. Look at Dayton this year. Three losses coming in. They're two and three into today. They lost by a point at home to UMass Lowell, lost to Lipscomb by 19, and at home to Austin P by six. All at home at the beautiful Dayton Arena with a sold-out crowd cheering them on. Yeah. Yeah, here they are playing the number four team in the nation, and with four plus on the clock, they are up one. I don't think that Anthony would have ever thought so that would be happening. That's a third turnover in a row, John. Third in a row. The moment's starting to get to him a little bit. The third turnover in a row. Two of them led to layups. Smart move by Martin to back it out. He's a point guard, playing the point guard position, but he's really more of a scorer's mentality. Brown going to work, left hand. McCormick. Oh, you got to score that one. Follow strong. loose ball. Good effort by McCormick, but you got to score right there. Got to go up strong. Oh, great oh, look. Nice look. Holmes oh. gets loose. Nice find by Weaver. Weaver with the great look. Veteran player. He's one of the experienced players. Deron Holmes, a freshman with 16. He's wide open for a layup right there. Martin off under four to go. Dayton by three with the basketball. Every possession now becoming bigger and bigger in the case of Dayton. Right now, take a little time off the clock. You're not going to 
play slow, but you can take a little time, look for that high percentage shot. And you don't want the live ball turnover. Because they're going to make, make Kansas get himself an easy layup. Holmes oh, almost walked. Shot clock down. Weaver from deep. It's a shot clock violation. And the 18th turnover on the Flyers. A bad possession right there, but at least they took 30 seconds off the game clock. Three point lead, Dayton on top. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought to you by the Walt Disney World Resort 50th anniversary. Because when you celebrate with us, nothing could be more magical. And Dollar General, where you save time and money every day. Three nineteen to go. Uh, Kansas down three. Chris Spatola, you listened in to Bill Self. What do you have to say? Possession is crucial. Three times he said we've got to grab the basketball, particularly underneath the basket. He drew up a play. It's going to be a double high ball screen. McCormick rolling hard to the front of the rim. Christian Brown playing behind, and Remy Martin and Dwan Harris going to work. So right now, Kansas basketball, 319 to go. This would be an absolutely monster upset. Yeah, no question about it. And I'll tell you one thing, he was talking about when Chris mentioned about grabbing the ball and go strong. Was the one there with McCormick. They should have got themselves a layup on the inside. Let's see if it's screen that he talked about time. Double guy, this double screen he talked about pie. From the corner, Martin. Loose ball, and it ends up with Elijah Weaver. Got to get a better shot than that. I mean, Martin's been struggling a little bit shooting the three. I mean, you're down by three. It's late in the game. But quality shots. Now, you can't be so tentative right now if you certainly Dane. You got to move the ball. Get some player movement. Be active. Not just stand around and hope and pray that clock goes out. Kamara almost lost his footing. Shot clock under 10. It's Weaver with Brown on him. Weaver going to work shots. inside. That's a good shot right Holmes, there. Oh. a little short and a shot clock violation. Had a good shot, 12 footer. And here's another chance for yeah. Dayton to get a little, I mean for right now Kansas to get a little bit closer. 19 turnovers and again as we mentioned, among all teams in Division One, only Arizona with more players classified as freshmen. 12, Yep. Arizona's got 13. Here we go. Abaji inside, a little oh. bit strong. Rebound pulled down. Kamara. Had a chance right there for himself to score. Smith, Kamara. Can't hit. Shot selection, my friend. Shot selection, so important. Martin will try. And hits. Nice medium play jump shot right there. Here we go, baby. Last two minutes of the game could be the biggest upset in all of college basketball this year. I can't see one being bigger than this, baby, if it would have happened. Kansas might have other ideas. Uh, Weaver stepped back. Couldn't hit. I can't understand the shots there. Really? You're up one? Come on. Kansas could take the lead right here. Kansas faithful to go really wild. Martin, now Abaji puts it on the floor. Abaji up and in, and All Kansas American. has the lead. All American, All American. Smith oh, lost the goes. handle. Here, he here comes Abaji. Abaji, Abaji, Abaji. Kansas looks like they've got a great chance to survive the scare of the year. Timeout by Anthony Grant. And now we're going to send some cheer and some joy on the sideline. Look at Bill Self, feels a little better. Oh, wow. This will be a great learning experience for them, too. I think winning this game, if they win it and survive, it'll be a great way for Bill Self and that whole staff, Coach Roberts, Coach Townsend, to get their attention, to understand we can be beaten by anyone if we don't come to play. So we got to come to play. You know, John, you got to understand, when you're a power like Duke and Candace and Carolina for years, Kentucky, you get everybody's best hit, and you got to match that commitment every day. 
A minute to go, Kansas up by three. A crucial turnover by Malachi Smith. And a 12-2 Kansas run in the last 5.32. I think shot selection too a little bit. Of questionable threes yep. with the lead. That's youth. That's a young team. They're going to be a dangerous team if they build. They can build on this performance, win or lose, with Dayton. Build on it for the future. It gives them some hope now, saying we can play yeah. with the big guys. Well, they certainly play as hard as any team We've I've seen, seen sure. here in the early going. And There's something about that. Coaches should not have to preach the guys playing hard. You lace those sneakers up, you cut the play. Two great fan bases, Stick by Town, uh, oh, Kansas fantastic. and Dayton. And, you know, you're talking about a neutral site game. Both of these teams play at home courts that are serious advantages, but the energy that's been infused inside the field house because both of these teams have traveled so well. Absolutely. Great fans. I love going out there to Allen Fieldhouse. Little Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Love it. Great college town. They're just trying to figure out how much time should be on the clock with the timeout. Starting to hear the Rock Chalk Jayhawk chant. I love that chant. They remind me when you go to Allen Fieldhouse. That's like going right out there where you do the Cubs games. What a thrill that is going out there every day. When are you going to come visit me? Yeah, I got to get out there. You give me good seats? I will get you good seats. All right. As long as I don't have to sing, take me out to the ball game. I might make you sing, take me out. We'll do a duet. It'll be terrible, but we'll be, you I know. did. I did it one year. I was the only guy that made Mike Ditka sound like Pavarotti. Yeah, I did it this was past so year, and it was bad. And I, did, I committed the double sin, bad and slow. All right, here we go. Last minute of the game, baby. Dayton last 11 possessions, one for six, six nope. turnovers. And certainly don't have to look for the three here. Get the high percentage shot. Don't oh, panic here. Do what you did the whole game. Drive with the ball. That's so, what you do, oh see? My goodness. Gets inside and spins it home. Malachi Smith with 10. They're going to get the ball back. They're going to get one more shot, Dayton. Here it goes. Kansas open it up, but we see Dayton with the ball and a chance to win. Call your friends up, man. You could be seeing the upset of the year. Remember, Kansas has been terrible from the line. Nine of 20. He was performing. Offensive oh, foul. Wow. Wow. Look at Bill Self. Banging the table. Frustrated. Upset. Here it is. Will that be the upset of the year? Call your buddies up. Get the tube on. Here we are. Wow. Dayton. Timeout, Dayton. One point game. Kansas the lead. Flyers with the basketball. 15.8 <laughs> seconds left. This one has been everything you could ask for. We never in our wildest dreams coming here today thought we would be in this scenario. Just shows you how you got to play. Look at that number there. 35 straight wins versus some right now conference. Opponents I can read, see that? Unbelievable. He also right now, 31 straight years they've been in the NCAA tournament. The longest in the nation. Kansas is 31 consecutive years. That's consistency at its highest level. First in a preseason poll. Kansas, Kansas, by the way, does have a foul to give. We'll see how that plays out. One go before they get to the bonus. Yep. Wow. It's really interesting what he has talked about here during the timeout, Mr. Grant. Grant, they've got multiple shooters. Um, Seal can shoot it, obviously. Brea and Smith, the guy that'll put it on the floor. They can't turn it over. That's been their biggest problem, the live turnover. They here get it goes. to Kamara, and now Smith. They're looking for Smith to drive the basketball. They're looking for him to drive the basketball. And there he goes. Here he They're goes. To drive the, the basketball. Oh! They get it back, though. They get it I'm back. Seal oh. for the win. Oh, and oh, win it. oh, my God. Oh, my God. It went down. Oh, my God. Look at the bad look. Look at the bad look. I can't believe it. I can't 
can't believe it, Boom! I can't believe it, Boom! Wow! I mean, what a finish. Mustafa Amsil off the rim, off the glass, and in. And down goes number four. An absolute shocker here at the field house. Oh, I'm stunned. I am shocked. I thought we were heading today to a 25-point blowout. I really did. I just absolutely can't believe that this team could lose to the Massachusetts Laws, the Austin Peas, the Lipscombs, and come out of neutral floor and beat the Jayhawks. Well, I'm talking about the bounce going their way. It's a stunner. I don't think there'll be a bigger upset this year in college basketball than this, based on what we see. However, the one thing is, Dayton's going to get better and better and better off this performance. Well, and a freshman shall lead him. Mustafa Amsil with the winner. And the Dayton fans just eating it up. But I'll tell you what, this was a really good basketball game. 74-73, and Dayton upends Kansas. Who saw that coming? And remember, in the first half, Dick Vitale, Kansas led by as many as 15. 15, and not, and not playing well, they led by 15. That's why I thought it was going to be easy. Boot, unreal. Just a terrific performance by the Dayton Flyers. This tournament has given them a little grown-up time. And now they wait for the winner of Belmont and Iona for the final. First win since an AP against an op AP top 25 team since 84. And another look. Um, seal and the celebration. Oh, they are going bananas. Oh, those damn fans. They probably said, I can't believe this. How do we lose at home? To those teams we lost to, and we beat Kansas. And again, the final here. Dayton into the finals. The Flyers, a one point win at the buzzer. Anthony Grant, all smiles. 74 73, the final. Unbelievable. The Flyers won it. Coming up on ESPN, it's college football from across town in Orlando, South Florida, and UCF. See you later, everybody.